Hello. One question I get asked a lot is, can I make a large rug on my smaller frame? And the answer is yes. And then the next question is always, won't it um, pull out and snag my loops when I move the rug? And the answer is no, not if you know what you're doing. So I'd like to tell you how to do this. And the most important thing for moving a rug on a gripper frame is to have sturdy fibers. I would only move a rug on a gripper frame if I'm using a heavy duty rug yarn. This is a three ply rug yarn like I've used here. Or if I'm using a wider strip of cut fabric like I have here. These colored areas are all done with fabric strips. So as long as your materials are sturdy, you won't have any trouble moving it on a gripper frame. You really can't move a rug on a gripper frame if you're using delicate fibers, like thin yarns like this will snag when you move it, and these beautiful, unusual yarns just don't have a prayer. So don't use something like that if you need to move your rug. Have a frame that's um, big enough for your piece. To save time, you want to move your rug as few times as possible. So to move it fewer times, start on a corner. I punched this part first, and then I moved it one, two, and then it'll be three, four, five times to move it. I want to punch this part of my rug now, and remember that this is the back side of the rug, which is flat. This is the right side, the loopy side, that you're going to walk on. I used a number 10 regular Oxford punch needle, so I've got quarter inch tall loops, and I do not want those touching the grippers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a hand towel. You could use an old rag or cloth, and I'm just going to cover up those grippers to protect my work. These won't stay on here. We're just going to put them on while we position the rug. So while we're moving it around, no loops snag on these nasty little teeth. My grippers are covered up. My rug will be protected. And I'm just going to carefully lay my rug on the frame. And I want to try and make sure that this line of my geometric pattern is straight and that that line is straight on the frame. Make life much easier in the long run. And that line looks good to me. And so does that. So if you do that first, you'll have an easier go of it. See how that goes off at a bit of an angle? I'm just going to straighten that up. There, I think that's fine. I'm making sure that this isn't hitting the wood of the frame. My frame's there, so I've got plenty of room. Um, this little bit is actually quite close to the frame, but I'm not going to worry about that. If this comes up and over the frame, it'll be fine. Now that I have it positioned on there, I'm actually going to take this hand towel off of here. And this one as well. They've served their purpose. Now that I've got this on here, I'm going to tighten it up. You want to start by tightening the part of your rug that's punched, and then get your real tightness by pulling on the monk's cloth part. So I like to roll it up to tighten it. And you want to make sure that you keep your shape. So I'm going to pull this straight that way. And I'm just going to go up and over those grippers. So I am kind of dragging the, the loops across the grippers. But this is nice, strong fiber, so it will be fine. And that's all you want to do to get that on there like that. And see, I've kept my shape pretty well. Now I'm going to get this part on. So I'm going to roll that up. And I'm just going to pull it up and over like that. I'm going to try and keep this line straight. Pull that up. 
call that. So now I've got the punched part on. Have a look, see how this curves like that? So we're actually gonna release this and pull it like that to get it straighter. So now we've got a pretty respectable straight line there and we're gonna have a nice straight line there. Great, so now that it is um, on the punch part, we're gonna tighten the other two sides and I like to do that sitting down. You wanna make sure that it isn't obvious where you've moved your rug. In other words, you don't wanna end everything in a straight row. Um, so what I like to do is to stagger my edges. This is a great pattern for moving a rug because it's naturally broken down into areas. So if you stagger your edges, that's always a good thing to do. The other thing is you wanna make sure that your rug doesn't you know, go off at a little bit of an angle. You wanna keep the, um, the lines nice and straight. I like to use a yardstick for that. And you can see this line is a little bit wiggly. So we're gonna tighten it up and then we're just gonna check it with the yardstick. So I'm gonna pull it this way. And I'm keeping that line pretty straight. And now I'm going to pull it the other way. Again, be careful of those grippers with your hands. stand up again to get sort of a bird's eye view of whether or not it's straight. And that line looks pretty good till it gets to there. So I'm going to have a seat again and just tighten that bit up a little bit more. And I think that that looks really pretty good, except for right there. So what you can do is you can, I can't get that any tighter pulling this way, really. So I'm just going to loosen this up a teeny bit. And that will allow me to pull it tighter that way. And I think that looks good enough. I'll give it one more little tweak. There, look how nice and straight that line is. So you wanna have a look, make sure that your shapes are still the way you want them, and make sure that it lines up nice and straight. I've got this gray line, it's gonna go right on that line. So I think I'm good, I've got it on there. It's really tight, this is secured on there, this is secured on there. I'm not gonna to touch this part at all. I'm ready to go, and you want to Protect your hands while you work, so the cover's going to go back on. We designed our covers to be nice and thick, so that they will go around punched part of your rug when it's on the frame. Just tuck that under, tuck that under. need really any protective padding on there because it's thick enough. So I'm going to put one there. And one there. And one there. And just so I don't lose this little guy, I'm going to tuck him under there. And now I'm all ready to punch. Normally, I would punch this part of the rug first before I took the rug off the frame, but I don't want you to have to wait that long, so I'm going to show you how to take it off the frame now. 
the way you take it off is so important. You want to do it the right way so you don't pull out any of the beautiful loops that you've punched. So let me show you how. We're going to take off your frame cover. And we'll spread the rug out. You've got two sides that are punched on gripper and two sides that are monk's cloth on gripper. We're going to start by releasing the monk's cloth. I'm just going to pull it up and off the frame. And monk's cloth is so sturdy. Wouldn't you think this would rip it? But it just doesn't. Honestly, I've never seen monk's cloth rip. So the monk's cloth is all released, and now we're going to take the punched part off the frame. So remember how these little teeth point up and over? They go out and over. So we're going to want to remove the rug in the same direction as the gripper. So I like to do it um, facing me. So I'm just going to very carefully Lift this up and over, and see how that's just come off nice and gently. I'll loosen that up. And now, that side doesn't want to come all the way off, so I'm going to loosen this side, and it will liberate that side. will just roll right off like that and then like that. You may find when you move your rug on a gripper frame that your yarn actually gets kind of fuzzy. See this? It's got all this fuzz on top of it and I don't like that because look how crisp and clear those loops are here and these are all fuzzy so let's get rid of that. There are two ways that I like to do it. One is with a sweater depiller. This is a Wonder Lint depiller. I just got it on Amazon and you turn it on and just rub it on the loops. And it really makes that look much nicer and all the fuzz winds up in here. Another thing you can do instead of a depiller is if you just have an inexpensive um, razor, you can um, just very gently go across the tops of your loops. Obviously, you don't want to press down so hard that you take off your loop tops. And you can see that that um, takes off the fuzz as well. So as you can see, you can move a larger rug on a smaller frame without hurting your work. It's not hard to do, it just takes a little time, but it's part of the process. If you find you really want to make um, more large rugs, you might want to invest in a larger frame. This is our 20 by 30 um, gripper strip frame, and with this frame, I'd only have to move this rug once, which is awfully nice. I had a great gal come in my shop. She was in her 80s, and she said, I wanted a bigger frame and I didn't have one so I got a card table at a yard sale and I cut the middle out and I thought what a brilliant idea so now I like to make myself um, bigger frames and just attach them to card table legs and that's what this frame is and I love it because I can see my whole rug at once and that's nice for designing and color planning So that's another option as well. I really hope that you have a wonderful time with your punching, whether you move your rug once, twice, whatever you do, have fun.